Alright, so what we're listening to here is a hurricane net on the amateur radio band. Uh, it's located on 14325 on upper sideband. And uh, these are uh, amateur radio operators that uh, have a net that's going. They call it a net. There's a guy who's uh, the net control. And then the other stations are calling in to the net control any weather damage that they're having there in Louisiana or uh, any weather reports reports of injuries or anything like that so this is a uh, amateur radio working at its best okay so uh, to quickly show you what I had going here my I have my iPad here with a local radar app but it went to sleep I have um, my MLA 30 this is the uh, the little preamp box that's hooked to my radio here. You can see the cable come around, plugged into my antenna. This is part of my uh, receive only antenna, and it's powered with this little battery bank I've got back here. So it gives me a preamp signal. Sometimes it works good, sometimes all it does is amplify the noise if there's a lot of noise on the band, but today it, it, it helped me. I uh, follow my cable out here to my antenna this is the main part of the mega loop MLA 30 receive only antenna and it was pretty inexpensive it's a loop antenna as you can see there it's like a hoop and I bought my own piece of PVC pipe that doesn't come in the kit and then I just for a temporary setup I just have a skinny piece of rebar here stuck in the ground with my PVC pipe slid over it with this little clamp here just to hold it from falling all the way to the ground. I want it to kind of stay up off the ground get a little bit more height. <clears throat> so that's my setup. I, I think if it's like any other loop it, it receives off the ends. So I've kind of got it pointed northwest from me towards where the hurricane is. To try to pick up those stations that are calling in from the area okay so we're gonna come go back up here so having a shortwave radio is very important it's one of the very good tools to have sorry about the shakiness but it's a very good tool to have in a disaster because if I didn't have the internet with my iPad here or telephone I could use this radio with or without the external antenna that I just showed you. It has its own antenna here that's made onto the radar that's sometimes better than the mega loop or any kind of amplified antenna. Uh, just depends on the conditions. But this is a way that I can get in outside information. What's going on in the world around me? Uh, I, I pick up also all kinds of things here uh, from home here in Florida. You know, Cuba stuff. Um, lots of different things but the, one of my uh, amateur radio operator friends I was talking to him on my local repeater and he told me he was listening to this at home while he was talking to me so I decided to see if I could drag this out and uh, see if I could hear it and maybe share it with you guys so I'm going to kind of back off of this and turn it back on and maybe give you another sample of what's going on over there. Uh, sorry about all the background noise. I'm like right out in my garage.